Hello and welcome to Vault Vehicles. Here I wanted to talk to you guys about the Shimano Nexus 3. This is an internal gear hub and where to buy it, why it's an awesome gear hub for electric bikes, for multiple reasons, and why it's just smooth experience for people especially who want to use electric bikes in urban environments that are primarily on flats. Why this is going to make your riding experience so much better, in my opinion, than a classical derailleur setup and also having a pretty low maintenance drivetrain. So, what is a Shimano Nexus 3? Well, this is an internally geared hub. For you guys who don't know, internally geared hubs, these are hubs where all the gears and mechanisms are inside here that affect the rotational uh, effect of this gear here. So the chain is here like a normal like rear sprocket. This is going to be the hub of the rear wheel. Uh, but this internally geared hub has different small mini gears that are affected by what a cable that's being pulled at in this mechanism here and this basically makes it so that this single sprocket this is the only sprocket you have which is one train and this whole sprocket uh, it makes it so that you can have a single chain and uh, just a single sprocket that has three different speeds and uh, then this three speed setup is in my opinion awesome for electric bikes why do i think it's awesome for electric bikes well first of all the reliability this hub I have one personally on my electric bikes, both used with a BBS HD and a BBS 01, and I've been going over 4,000 kilometers, maybe 5,000 kilometers even. The, uh, my uh, odometer is a little bit inaccurate, and I've had basically no problems for the hub itself. The only thing I've had problems with is that the cable used to actuate this hub has been getting a bit worn out, so I have to change that. Otherwise, the hub itself works perfectly. Uh, this is something that is super reliable, both for high power electric bike motors and also low power ones, but especially the high power ones, because people often want to have very robust gear hubs for the high power motors, such as the BBS HD or very high powered uh, electric mid drive motors. This uh, is something that is, as people have said on Reddit, bomb proof, this uh, gear hub here. Uh, what it looks like is that this is not the, uh, well, this is just a picture of an electric bike, but the hub is then gonna be here in the rear motor. So, so you have the mid drive here, I'm just gonna pull that hub along and you just have the one single chain. Uh, so it's really reliable, bomb proof, uh, really robust gear hub that really the cable is going to fail before the hub itself. And I've personally uh, never had to do this because I've not ridden this enough, but the maintenance is also not too difficult, but we'll see when I have to actually do that. But it's a form of loosening some nut here, pulling this out and dumping in oil. And that is really the only maintenance you have to do. But I'm personally not too experienced with that because you have to really ride this so much to have to do any maintenance at all. But really, this has been so good. And why do I think that this gear hub in particular is good? Because the different types of Shimano Nexus 3, some have the coaster brakes, this in particular has the disc brake. This is why I love because it's got the disc brake hub. Because this hub is an internal gear hub that can have a disc brake. And I find it very hard, in general, speaking if i'm looking for buying internal gear hubs i find it very difficult to find gear hubs to buy i think it's like very rare you can't really find them they're sold at really obscure places this is one of the few gear hubs i can find that is relatively available and has a disc brake compatibility otherwise uh, like i sometimes find the shimano nexus 7s and shimano nexus 5s even and they are find them very hard to find them and uh, let alone the ones that are disc brake compatible so this is not only is this one of the most like, robust gear hubs you can find it's much more robust than shimano nexus 5 or shimano nexus 7 this is probably the most robust gear hub that exists uh, but it's also more available and with disc brake compatibility it is still diff more difficult i find it personally who lives in europe to find this disc brake compatible shimano nexus 3 compared to a coaster brake style i find a coaster brake seems to be the most common ones in urban uh, bike shops but this disc brake one is still a bit more rare, but out of all the gear hubs that exist with disc brakes, I find it to be one of the most common ones. So this is awesome for that reason. Another reason that I love this hub is that the simplicity of the three gears, because when you're going in, especially on a high powered motor, this is maybe less applicable to low powered motors, but high powered motors, you don't really have time to switch all these different gears. You're accelerating so quickly that you're just gonna go through the gears. So I find like three gears to be awesome. You just need one, to start off two a little bit intermediate gear and then the three which is your max top speed and then that's all you've got you know you've got a really high powered motor requires very little shifting just you know one two three done you know you know you've got that uh you're you're up and going 
this is something that's got to do with gear hubs themselves but gear hubs are really great is that you can quickly switch the gears at standstill so these uh, this is not just for this hub but all gear hubs is that uh, you can like switch gears while you're completely still so it's very good for mid-drive motors that if so you just make sure you're not pedaling at all switch the gears and that's it while derailers require you to have some form of power and it becomes quite difficult when you've got cadence based mid-drive motors which means is that uh, if they're not registering how much you're pressing on the pedals uh, like a torque sensor because a torque sensor gives power based on how much you're pedaling but if you've got cadence it just detects oh you're moving and then it gives full power uh, derailers require you to have just a slight power if you give it too much power then it's going to shift very uh, uh, bad and really break your derailleur if you keep on using this for a long time uh, gear hubs require you to have no power uh, to shift so you can't have a little bit of power you'll also break the gear hub if you give it a bit of power but that's great because then it, it, any kind of mid drive you just don't pedal at all switch gears and that's it it's a lot more simpler to change so you don't require any kind of brake cutoffs any gear shift sensor really to shift correctly with this so this is awesome for this uh, for e-bike motors you've got a bomb proof motor you've got one that's relatively available it's got a few speeds so it just makes in general shifting very smooth and easy and not have to think too much when riding so very beginner friendly as well another really big reason that this gear hub is amazing is that the size of this like the size of the we uh, the hub here is basically the same as most common shimano hubs now it's not exactly the same but it's enough that when i've been just reusing the the <laughs> now probably pro professional bike wheel makers will really not like this but i've had a lot of success by just taking you go here shimano acero wheels just you know let's see if we can find something here if you just take any old like really cheap drive thing like a shimano acero or shimano altus the size of the hubs i noticed that they're basically almost completely identical to the uh, nexus 3 in that you don't really need to buy any new spokes so so far i have done a total of three conversions from a derailleur to this hub in particular i bought three of these hubs i've laced the wheels myself and i've not had to uh, use different length spokes the same length of spokes have worked fine uh, because they're all like shimano altus shimano tawny and shimano acera like really low tier types of derailers and they all seem the hub seemed to be compatible with uh, them i didn't need to change the length of spokes that was awesome but always if you're going to build a wheel just double check that your spokes are uh, the correct length there's like calculators online you can use to find but uh, generally speaking i was like doing a spoke calculator and it seemed like the length was almost identical just off by like a couple of millimeters so i just reused the spokes and it was fine so this was also a lot easier install you could say than a regular gear hub so that was an awesome thing converting this to a, from an existing derailleur was an awesome uh, experience a lot smoother than i would have expected it to be and then i would say that there's uh, something that's great about this is that not okay you've got a bomb proof uh, hub that's good for your mid drive that is readily available and that has got good disc brake compatibility that is easy to convert because of the hub size and then you've also got uh, the amount of speeds is being very user friendly another thing that even makes this even better is that this is the one of the lightest gear hubs so it's not light i mean this whole thing weighs i think like a kilo or two so it is heavy but for, compared to other gear hubs it's one of the lightest gear hubs you can get and then not only that it is also one of the cheapest gear hubs as well uh, it usually rarely you can get the whole uh, you can usually get the whole setup the shifter uh, and the sprocket the hub and all the nuts everything for a little bit over 100 dollars like 110 dollars 100 something like that very cheap usually internal gear hubs is all the accessories the shifters and everything go for more than that uh, so this is a very good price in my opinion you can get a very good price for this so it's like everything is great about this hub i love it the only thing i don't like about gear hubs is that eventually i'll have to swap out the oil and that seems like it's going to be a bit of a project but eventually that will come uh, but when i look at videos how that works it doesn't seem to be too difficult and also that'll come eventually but right now it's all right so the nexus 3 i love this and look here this is where you can buy it you can get it on aliexpress here this is where i've personally bought this from three of these uh hubs i bought from this seller here i bought the 36 uh, hole and also the 32 hole so i bought different variants they've all worked really well the only thing i say is i would actually not recommend buying from these guys because delic bike store these guys here need to be a little bit careful just because these guys uh, they sent me 
an incorrect length of this uh, shift rod here. This is a rod that goes inside the axle. And what happens is this, you see this mechanism here, this one here, this silver one, this one pushes on the shifter rod to change the gears. But they sent me the wrong length because the coaster brake version of the Nexus 3 has a shifter rod that is a different length than the disc brake version. Uh, and what that means is basically that they've sent me the wrong one. It was a big hassle to get it swapped out. Like they had to pay like $1 or something. Uh, it was really, I didn't like the customer service at all from these guys. Not at all a uh, friendly customer service. They worked, the hubs worked, but and I got eventually that extra shift rod, but uh, I didn't like the customer service at all from these guys. But it worked and the price system was pretty good. So uh, this is then uh, Swedish kroners, but in actual terms of dollars, it's about like 100 to $110 for like the whole thing. You see, you get the shifter, everything, whole package uh, for not particularly expensive price. So this is, uh, I would say, this is a place you can buy it from, but it's also, I've seen this available in other places. You can get it from eBay. Uh, I think I've seen other sellers, bike shops, local, more local bike shops selling this as well. This just, in generally speaking, in my searching history, seems to be a little bit more easier to acquire than uh, compared to other gear hubs. So this is something that I want to show you guys. You can get it from AliExpress, but you can also get it from other low, more like locals or website, uh, websites that are maybe a bit more local to you. You can often find them there. I saw some places in the UK, for example, that were selling them as well. So it's just about Googling around, finding them. But otherwise, this AliExpress seller is an international seller. They've I've bought three of them from them, which have all worked fine. Just one of them, they sent the wrong shift rod and not a good customer experience. Uh, otherwise, it worked. They send it. It's not like they didn't send it to me, but still, uh, I prefer not to buy for these guys if I could avoid it. But it will work. If you do buy it from these guys, it will work. So it's not like it won't work. Uh, and it's a good price. I think it's not a bad price you can get from these guys. So Nexus 3. The favorite gear hub of choice for me when it comes to electric mid-drive motors, really, and just in general, bikes in general, but especially electric bikes. These, this thing is bomb-proof, available, cheap, lightweight compared to other gear hubs, is very, very simple to use, and low maintenance, and also a good price. So... Generally speaking, I'm very happy with this hub. I'd recommend to get it for you as well if you're considering to convert it from an existing derailleur setup because it is quite easy to convert this if you read a bit about it compared to other hubs. You don't have to usually get new uh, spokes. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the Nexus 3. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.